so how is everyone look before i start this video i just want to say look this is not about saying this is 100 percent what happened but this is about acknowledgement of how certain things look in certain situations and look although there is no definitive proof of trafficking an sa with regards to summer which there isn't there is things that can be speculated upon there are warning signs there are coincidences and we know that the more coincidences that there are it gets to that tipping point where you have to th think to yourself say to yourself look can every single piece of this case be another coincidence or is it getting to a point or way surpassed a point where we have to look at the realization that is something here is potentially what happened some have vanished and kids don't vanish you know they don't go out into the garden and just poof into thin air things happen now with regards to trafficking that video that you see there that video although it could potentially be something completely innocent you have to look at what you're looking at a little bit deeper and that is that you're looking at a young girl being danced around and controlled in that video environment in a manner with which other people are utilizing these style of videos for trafficking purposes it was uploaded to tiktok as a five-year-old girl dancing around in the rain in front of a barrel with for sale written on it with the track country girl not scared of getting dirty and it was uploaded on tiktok 28th of may was it <laughs> and um and look as much as there are supporters of the wells family and there are people against the wells family this video is a central part of this case because the area as a whole is an area that suffers from a trafficking perspective i stated before there was numerous arrests around this area of people involved in human trafficking currently tiktok where that video was uploaded to is under investigation by the attorney general of texas because of a potential involvement in human trafficking which again is that a complete coincidence that the site that this was uploaded to is now embroiled in the allegations surrounding human trafficking facebook and bearing in mind how many how can i say how many profiles candace has on facebook alone and the amount of pictures of summer that were uploaded leading up to when summer vanished there was a period where that video was uploaded onto facebook followed by approximately 30 photographs of summer and in 2021 facebook accounted for around 59 percent of online trafficking situations these aren't mickey mouse numbers these are not numbers that have been plucked out of the air you know these the TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook are the largest social media platforms where people can be recruited. They can be placed in situations that they can be used by trafficking gangs. Trafficking is, as we said numerous times, a one hundred and fifty billion dollar enterprise, and with that comes power. It comes integration into things like law enforcement social media it's a business venture it's a way for revenue to be obtained by people of that mentality that they want money they care about money and they don't care how they get it you know it answers so many questions with regards to the summer wells case and again this is speculation this is not at all me saying this is what happened but you know you don't want the wells to be monsters but you know for this to be a trafficking involved case then maybe it wasn't about being a monster maybe it was just about 
being part of the bigger problem in this area, and that is that it's easy for people to get embroiled in trafficking because they are leveraged upon. Families like the Wells are leveraged upon. They are uneducated. They have children. They want money. They need to earn money. They are perhaps not the most sharpest knives in the drawer, Candace. You know, maybe Don was away at work and Candace wanted to obtain money and she found a way of doing that through summer. You know, we say that Candace hasn't really got the mentality beyond that of a teenager. Teenagers are selfish. They do things to obtain money. They do things that benefit them. We know that Candace is not the motherly, instinctive person that all of you great mums are out there. She's just not. And as much as we want to believe she is, she isn't. She is not. You know, and... This video just doesn't sit right. Just doesn't sit right. But it sits right in the area. There are, you know, familial trafficking is huge. It's a huge industry. It happens. It happens every single day. And it happens on the Wells' doorstep. And this video points clearly in a specific direction. Well, it's, it's two directions. And that is that this family was so stupid so completely oblivious and ignorant that they put a video up that to an industry that looks at children they put her in direct harm because it would have done it would have done that or they knew about it and they did and it was done purposefully and i don't think there's any bones about it it's, we've got a little girl who's missing and like i say kids don't just vanish they don't